Welcome back guys, this is Travis here, Fisher Hex. appreciate you stopping in. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick recap of the frag swap I went to this past Saturday at That Fish Place in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm going to talk about some pros and cons of this frag swap, some of the things that I enjoyed and then of course learned, uh, and some changes that I'll make for the next frag swap. I'm also going to talk about uh, the coral for the upcoming sale on the website and the main display, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about the positive things first. Now, I just want to say uh, before we get into everything that I really appreciate you guys who made the trip to Lancaster. A lot of you came from outside Pennsylvania, which is a total shock to me. Uh, I know that there were some great deals at the swap, and I'm glad that you guys came up and introduced yourself, shared your reef tanks, your experiences, and uh, said that you enjoy the channel and the content that I put out. Now, it's a very humbling to have somebody come up and tell me that they uh, have seen all my videos. Um, I can't even watch all my videos because uh, it's like cringeworthy for me. After, you know, like six months ago, some of that content I was making was uh, with the audio and the vi video and the stuttering and it was just it was pretty rough so I can't watch it but I really appreciate you guys who uh, still can with that being said I went ahead and met a couple new guys from YouTube we had urban reef out there and then Pat from Murphy's reefing uh, both cool guys of course uh, Danny from coral lust was out there we had Scott M and then you can't forget reefing with Billy pipes that tall ball bastard uh, you know they're all great guys each and every one of them so feel free to go show them some love I'm gonna put a link to each one of their channels in the description below go ahead and check them out and subscribe okay the next thing I want to talk about is pretty much an overview of my entire day the reason why I want to do this is so when I talk about lessons learned and some of the things that I'm gonna do differently next time it'll make sense now I didn't need to be there for setup until after 8:30, so I figured I'd get up at 6 30 take a shower get ready to go uh, get the coral and just throw it in the car well, it took a lot longer than I thought it would to pack the coral. And the reason why is I took it out of the frag system, put it at, put it on those racks that I made from the previous video, and then put it in the cooler. Now, the issue was is it took a lot longer, like 45 minutes just to get those three racks full. And uh, that set me back. And unfortunately, I ended up being later than I wanted to be during setup. And then, uh, consequently, gave me a spot that I really didn't want that really affected my tank later in the day. Now, before I get into that, I just want to say that uh, next time I will go ahead a couple days before as I will put the coral on those racks that I made and then put them in my frag system and then simply just take the rack out and put it in the cooler and then go about my day. Now, with that being said, the, uh, the spot that I got was on the right-hand side where I always like to be because it's when everybody first comes in. Now, I was way down at the bottom towards the back door that kept getting opened up. Now, it was 30 degrees outside, and unfortunately, as the day went on, it really impacted my tank. Now, I brought a 100-watt heater, which is you know definitely fine for 11 gallons of water, and I really didn't think it was going to be a big deal, but I really it just sucked. I couldn't keep temperature on that tank to save my life. It fluctuated depending on how long the door was open, how many people were in the room, and the tank just didn't stay stable. Now, it was okay in the beginning. The coral started opening up, but a few hours in, everything just closed up. I mean, the bird's nest seemed to be fine until later in the day, but um, it just, everything closed up. If you guys are there, you know that my zoanthids are like, nope, not happening today, regardless of how much light or how much flow. It just, they were not opening up. Now, with that being said, I definitely know that it impacted my sales. Uh, at the end of the day, I still sold just under half of my inventory. I did lose several pieces on the way home, and then the next morning there were a few more that did not make it. Now the zoanthids made it, the LPS corals made it, uh, a lot of all the Monty caps, all that stuff made it. But the only thing that really got impacted were a couple of the cat's paws, and the majority of it was the green bird's nest. Now green bird's nest is pretty tough stuff, but I think that roller coaster from the day just really put an end to it. But that's okay because I have a million more pieces in my tank, so I don't really feel like I lost anything. It's just kind of time and fragging. Now, overall, I had a pretty good day. I didn't purchase any coral for myself. I can't even remember the last time I got myself a piece of coral. But uh, I did get enough money to be able to purchase a new computer for this uh, channel. If you are new to the channel or you just haven't been here for a while, um, basically, my videos have been slacking. I used to do three or four a week, and, and now it's down to one or two maybe. And the reason for that is my... Uh, video editing software just keeps crashing because my computer is a pile of crap. Uh, basically, I have a lower end laptop hooked up to my 20 inch screen and I'm just kind of making things work. Now, my live streams aren't working because my computer's a pile. My internet's good enough, but uh, processing video and uh, all that kind of stuff just causes it to crash. And, and just the time it takes to make one video is uh, pretty exhausting. So I've kind of cut back to one or two a week. 
Now, with that being said, the computer will be here in a few days. So look forward to more content or at least increased content over the next several weeks as I, uh, you know, get caught up on my uh, content schedule. Now, there's a lot of things that I want to share with you guys, especially that beginner guy question series. I have a lot of stuff that needs to be done, and uh, I just really want to wait until I got a new computer. Now, with that being said, let's go to move on to the frag system in Coral Sales. Well, as you guys can see, the frag tank is definitely empty compared to what it was before the frag swap, but don't worry about it. I'm going to be cutting coral, uh, particularly the left rock structure today, tomorrow, and uh, Wednesday to fill this tank back up. Don't worry, I will have coral available for when the website goes live here in a couple weeks. And uh, understand, guys, uh, I'm going to be cutting my tank up in a specific order to make sure that I get uh, the most out of my reef tank so I don't shock it with the alkalinity drops from cutting too much SPS. Uh, and this is all stuff that I mentioned in a previous video. So if something is out of stock when it officially goes live in here in a couple weeks, just send me an email um, from the website asking when it will be back, be back in stock, and I will uh, let you know. Also, one thing I want to mention is that there really isn't that much coral on the website right now. I still have to cut a lot of stuff. I have to make sure that I can get good pictures of it and then upload it, of course, uh, link it to my Shopify. It's a, it's a little bit of a process, um, and I will be updating you know, daily over the next couple weeks. And, of course, once the sales go live, I'll be continuing to update as I cut new corals. But just remember, guys, everything in this reef tank will be for sale at some point between now and September. If there's something in particular you want, please feel free to email me, and I will cut it, set it to the side, and ship it out with your order. All right? Well, guys, that's about it for this video. I appreciate you sticking around. I wanted to keep it as brief as possible and still give you an update. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below or contact me via email. If you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, it benefits me in this channel. Just don't tell the trolls that. And, uh, and if you like my type of content or you like what I do for this uh, community, feel free to subscribe. And, uh, you know, don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications when my videos uh, post. Either way, guys, I appreciate you watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.